I've had a good time looking at the villains of Scripture, the villains we love to hate, and I'm grateful that Reverend Dr. Hannah Kaw has joined me in this sermon series to give her perspective on some of the villains. Last week I spoke on Jezebel. I had a great time doing that, and this week you're going to be speaking on the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. So I have a question for you, Hannah. Given the choice, would you rather be called a Jezebel or a Pharisee? That's a great question. I actually asked myself that question last Sunday. Last Sunday during the worship, I was walking down the street to Balboa Park for the Pride March with our church people. And your story about Jezebel and wine searching must have been staying in the back of my mind for the whole march. And when we went to the lunch place with people, someone offered to buy me a drink, any drinks. So I was looking at those options and I was drooling over the cold beer behind the tap. And I asked myself, do I want to be a Zezbel or a Pharisee? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, in our scriptures, the Pharisees are, are good religious folk, but they oppose much of what Jesus did. And, and yet even in our Bible study recently, we have discovered that not all Pharisees were that way. And it's more of a polemic against, um, against Judaism and the hindrance of Christianity. But, but that's how Pharisees are portrayed in the scripture. What are you going to do with that? Well, that's a good question, too. <laughs> Maybe Jezebel and the Pharisees are the polar opposite in, in the scale of villainous. Mm -hmm. And yet, there is something in common. I sometimes wonder if the Pharisees would be offended by being in the same category as Jezebel. But we'll be looking at and questioning about what was inside the Pharisees. I look forward to hearing you preach. Thank you so much for offering me your wisdom. So I'm curious, did you have that glass of beer? Well, you will find out this Sunday. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs>